welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Drawing with Paolo. Today we're going to draw a tiger's body here lying down on the page. We're going to start with its uh, round head here at the top. And um, he's going to be like the last feline we drew, sort of lying down very, very gracefully. So his paws are going to be up this way. And this will be a shoulder over here and his elbow down here. So sort of leaning on his forearms. This will be one of his forearms and here will be another one just like that. And then we'll trace down his body, which will sort of come this way and curve across. This will be his hind legs. His belly will be down here. And we'll give him a little bit of a, a knee and then a leg, just like that. And pretty much that's the look that I'm looking for, all right? So the next step is to put in the ears to this head. So we're going to add some details here. We're going to start with the top of his head. Now, I've chosen to draw today a, a teenage tiger. So. It sort of looks like a lion a little bit because it has a bit of a mane. And as they grow older, they lose that mane. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to draw in that mane a little bit. It's not as thick as a lion's mane, and it does go away eventually, sort of like baby cheetahs. Uh, but we're going to draw in that mane today. So let's find the middle of his face, just like that. And then we're going to draw his nose. And his nose sort of looks like an upside down, long heart, stretched out heart. So here's the point to the heart. And then from here, we need to draw the rounded part of the heart, like this, and like that. And then what we're going to do is draw his nose. So his nose is on top, at the bottom of this heart. And then we're going to add the nostril here and one over here as well. And by the way, this is a, a special request made by Mark Krasny. And Mark is one of my colleagues at work, and uh, he's asked for this like a long time ago. So Mark, this one goes out to you. And to everyone else who wanted a tiger or a Chinese tiger, hopefully this fulfills your, uh, your wishes today. All right, so this is where I'm going to put the eyebrows of the tiger. The yeah, tiger doesn't really, you know, I guess they do have eyebrows, but we're not going to really have them later on. But it's to delimit where we're going to put their eye, his eyes later on. So here's the head. Uh, the bony, oops, there we go. Lines to go this way. The bony edge of his skull there. Erase the lines inside there that we don't need anymore. Now we're gonna make these lines a bit darker. All right, what are we gonna do next? Let's go with the lip and his chin down here that we're gonna draw in. We're gonna just give it a half a sphere, half a circle, and that will be his chin later on. And now we're gonna draw in his hair. So if you've been following me for a while, make short, short hair. You know how to make this short hair because we've done a dog, we're actually two dogs, we've done cats, uh, we've done a bunch of animals. So in this case, we're gonna use really short hairs at the top of this uh, tiger. And we're going to do the same thing for his ears, really short hairs. So all I'm doing here is giving little strokes to my pencil, just like this. So same thing on this side, the left ear, strokes, little strokes all the way around. And we're going to do the inside. Now I realize that you can't see inside this ear too much. So it is possible that sometimes my hand hides that detail that I'm drawing. So really pay attention to the right side. Whatever we do on the right side will be repeated on the left side. And it's mostly because my hand is blocking the artwork here that sometimes I may speed up that side for just to, because you can't see it very well, I'm gonna accelerate that drawing. All right, so let's do the mane, the tiger's mane here, teenager, teenage tiger mane. And we're gonna draw that. So it's a little bit longer hairs than the top of the head. And they go all the way down to his chin. And this is your tiger, so draw it the way you like. I'm drawing it this way. I feel like drawing like a, a little bit of a mane. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Uh, this is what's fun about drawing, is you draw it the way you like. And nobody should tell you how to draw. And see this part here? Uh, we're going to erase that line. We don't need it. There was that, you know, the circle shape to the uh, tiger's head that we don't need anymore. And we're going to start drawing in some eyes. So very nice circle here for the eye. Another one over here. Looks a little menacing at the moment, but we're going to fix that out. We're going to color in the blackness around the eyes soon. So let's give this a little bit of a shape. This tiger, to a certain degree, uh, resembled Darth, resembles Darth Maul. And we did Darth Maul a few weeks ago, and, and you'll understand what I mean, where Darth Maul has all these paintings on his face, has tattoos, and the tiger pretty much has the same thing, if you ask me. So let's add a pupil here and one over here too. And then we're going to add a little curved line here to show that his nose is 3D. There's a thickness to his nose, to his nostrils. We're going to color a little triangle in here at the top of his nose, which you'll see in a few seconds once my hand gets out of the way. There we go. All right, so I just colored in a little bit of a zigzag shape. 
triangular zigzag. And we're going to color his lip over here. Make his nostrils a bit darker. The thickness of his nostrils. Like that. And we're going to color in his lip. Just like this, nice and black. All right, we're starting to get a good shape to our tiger now. So it might look a lot like a lion right now, but it will change as we add details. So what we're going to do is color in the uh, contour of his eyes. I did the left one really quick. As I said before, the left side sometimes you can't really see it. So I accelerated the drawing. And in this case, you'll see what I did. So I just color around the eyes here, nice and black. And then make a little point here on the far, like I did here on the left side. Push that off a little bit better. And then we're going to pull this line all the way down to his nose, but into a gradient. And a gradient, for those of you who don't know, means that we're going to start really dark and then fade away to nothing, just like that. That's what a gradient is. A gradient is one color to another, or a dark to a light, or a yellow to a red, or whichever way you want to call it. It means that it's a gradual changing of a tone or a color from one to the next. And so that's what we're doing here with the eyes. And now these white spots, this, these things that I'm drawing right now that remind me of Darth Maul a lot, are the white spots around his eyes. We're not supposed to color inside those ones. This is what's going to uh, keep the whiteness, protect the white of the paper around our tiger's eyes. Let's color inside of his ears here. Get a little bit of a shadowing in here, sh shading. And we're going to give a bit more hair to his ears here. Create a better hair effect at the top. All right, and we want to always work from top to bottom and left to right so that we don't smudge our page. And now we're going to add some detail to his face. I'm going to add a little bit of a thickness to his mane here. This is the outer edge of his face. And this will eventually be what I'm going to color in black. So this shape that I'm making right here will be totally black or let's say shades of gray inside that. So I'm just drawing the outlines of what the tiger spots will look like for the moment. Later on, we can go freestyle and just like color in the shapes that we want uh, immediately. But in this case, there's one shape, see? I'm going to color all of these in in fast forward. You guys can pause the video and practice at home making those shapes if you like. And put them wherever you like. This is your tiger. You invent it. If you don't want, you know, spots to your tiger, then don't do, don't make any. Uh, this is, this is your drawing. You do what you like. I feel like having my spot like right here, for example, and another one going all the way across. Sort of like that. And one at the top over here. There we go. And a few spots over here and, and a little bit above the eye, sort of like on the left side there. We're going to color all the way to the top here. Uh, add one here right underneath the ear. Sort of reaches down. So see now I'm freestyling it, which means that I'm not going to draw out the shapes until, you know, I'm just going to color it in. So. Let's color in the rest of the tiger here, we'll give it a, a light gray shade. And remember to not color inside those white spots around the eyes. We're supposed to be, that's supposed to be white. The tiger has three or four main colors, black, white, and orange, or beige, or, and brown. So around the eyes is a white color, so we're going to try to keep those uh, nice and white. Okay, let's color this in. Color it over here. Remember the white. Do not color the white. Color on the left, on the right. Color on this side over here. Let's do a little bit of black underneath his eye, going all the way to the bottom. So it's just a little bit of a zigzag shape there that's broken up. And when it gets closer to his nose, it ends up being a lot of patches rather than lines. So this line here. When we get closer to the nose, they end up being broken in pieces. Like that. So you can do two ways. You can either decide to, uh, let's add a few uh, spots for his mustache later on, but what you can do is either draw the shape in and then color it in, or just color it in the way you like right away. Depending on your, your uh, confidence, you can do it either way. I'm going to color in his nose here a little bit, or his, I don't know, part of his face that's called, but right underneath his nose here. We're going to make that gray and we're going to leave a little bit of white underneath there too. So the whiteness of the contour of his eyes will also be repeated at the, at the bottom of his nose. I'm going to shade this in nice and dark here on, on the side of his nose and below his eye. Just like that. 
Same thing here, make it nice and dark. So it gives it a bit of a 3D look to it. We're trying to make that uh, tiger come off the page by using these darknesses, these darks and lights. Give it some depth so that the drawing's not too flat. All right, we'll color this in a bit darker. There we go. All right, it's coming along pretty well. All right, we're gonna add a few more spots here. We're gonna add a big zigzag line here to repeat what we did on the left side first. So I'm just gonna draw in shape that I'm gonna color in later on. There we go. There's a hairy black shape. I'm gonna color that in real quick. Nice. And we'll add a little piece here. And let's darken this side here next to the ear and retrace those hairs and then do more spotting on the top of his head. And these spots are really short and they're sort of like ovals and they attach themselves to like S curves and things like that. Nice. Okay. So let's work on the bottom lip here, or rather the top lip. Make it a bit darker because I like that line so I'm committing to it and then we're going to shade in the bottom part here so there's a, there's a little bit of shadow and the lights coming from the top and we're going to turn his chin into a hairy chin so it's not just a circle anymore half a circle it's really a chin and we're going to color this top part up and inside there we're going to add a few dots so that's where a few hairs come out of sort of like he's got a beard going and we'll make it go in a diagonal form like this and then certain spots will go in the opposite way. So it gives it a really nice realistic effect. All right, we're going to color this side of his beard here and this side too. And the head is pretty much done. We've done a great job here today. Um, and that was the toughest part really is drawing the head. The head is a, the toughest part of the beast. And doing the body is not that difficult. I mean, it might be for those of you who are uninitiated, and that's fine. This is why these drawings are there for you, for you to practice this stuff. So I'm just giving little short strokes along the body here to help you guys learn how to draw hair, because, you know, tigers and lions and bears have this kind of hair on them. And it sort of looks more realistic this way. So from here, I'm going to pull down. His, he's got like a big, thick neck, a thick neck of fur, and we're going to give this thick neck of fur like this going down. Uh, I'm going to start it up here instead. There we go. Pull that down. Yeah, just really basic strokes, layering strokes one on top of another to make it look like it's hairs. And then we're going to pull down his back line here, like I'm a bit thinner. So, And then bring up to his butt like this. That's cool. And then let's color in or draw in his arm here. So hairy arm on the right side too. And a bit more hairs over here. So let's color all this stuff in here on a light gray stroke. And we're going to make it darker and darker as we go. Because underneath this is a chest here. It's a real darker color. And the reason for that is to make his head pop out more, right? So if I, if I make it nice and dark underneath here, you'll see his head just very, very, be uh, way better. So a lot better than what it was originally. So if I make it a really dark, contrasty color underneath his head, his head pops out of the picture. And we can focus on that. So I'm going to continue his little uh, neck piece here. Give a bit more detail to that part. All right. And I'm really just free-forming it. Free-form means I'm just, you know, drawing lines left and right and up and down. And just so that it looks good and it's following the flow of this tiger's uh, chest. All right. I'm going to do the back line too. Short, short hairs. And then as we pass the middle point of his back, and we're gonna start making it longer, longer hairs, because he's still like a, a teenager, so he's need, he needs to lose that hair as he grows up. So his belly hair, his leg here, and nice and into his tail, works his way to the tail. And we're gonna draw in the lines that are uh, that represent a tiger, of course, on his belly and on his back. So these lines that I'm drawing in will be all darkened later on, and we'll darken those up in a uh, hair pattern. But for the moment, I'm just drawing in these lines where I'd like to darken that up and look like zebra lines for the moment. But we're going to make them uh, more hairy as we go on. Let's work on his paws uh, in a few seconds after I color this in here. All right, we're going to color all this stuff, and we're going to work on. Uh, drawing his paws. 
Uh, let's darken this chest. So it looks like it's nice and deep in this section here. And we're going to draw every little toe of his hand here. Or his paw, rather. So here's his, the top of one of his fingers or toes. I don't know what you want to call those on a tiger, but there we go. And this wraps around over here. We're going to erase that inside there. There we go. And then here, the same thing for this paw. We've got the top of his wrist, sort of like this, where the knuckle is, over the knuckles are, and then his little toes here at the bottom. Three, and a fourth one right here. So his fifth one is, I don't know, somewhere behind there, I imagine. And I'm going to erase a little bit of this gray, because I'd like to have some white spots on his arms, too. This white little reflection will represent the white areas on his arms. And now I'm going to darken this area here on the top of his arm because that's where the shadow is being produced by the light coming from the top. The head is making sort of this shadow and on the side of his arm here too. And because you've seen how I've drawn hair before, I'm just going to accelerate through some of these parts, coloring in the, the tiger. I want to say lion so bad, but I might say it once or twice. Coloring in this lion, but it's a tiger, trust me. If people say that's a nice lion when they look at your drawing and say you can say thank you very much what counts is that they like it and what counts mostly is that you like it doesn't matter what people say about your drawings you know as long as you're having fun while you're doing them and then you want to share them with people that's what's important and if people have something to say about it then they're talking about your drawing and that's what counts any publicity is good publicity that's what they say all right so let's give them a bit of a uh, top of his hand here and then we'll color in some hairs the bottom here, they sort of look like the left side. There we go. And we'll attach this a little bit better to his body by adding shading. So his arm looks more forward, forward, right? And we're gonna add some shading to every one of these toes. So on the bottom left side, we're gonna add some hair lines and color that in a little bit. And there we go. Same thing for this one, because the top finger is producing a shadow on the bottom finger. I'm, you know, just inventing this stuff. Have fun with it. Play around. Give yourself some really cool strokes uh, uh, of the pencil so that, um, you know, be free, be, be loose. I see a lot of kids out there and people that are drawing very, very rigidly. And don't worry about that. You know, more, uh, I don't know, you know, people out there are watching manga, right? So manga, uh, the guys that are drawing manga are really trying to make it more sketch-like and I think it's up to us to make our drawings more sketch-like too and it comes out really nice. I think it looks more freeform and it looks more natural when we're just doing really nice strokes and not really worrying about the perfectness of our drawing. All right let's color in these lines that we've drawn in earlier and we're coloring them in with a zigzag shape and just you know just going at it filling that in and making hairlines all around. So essentially it's sort of like zigzagging and overlapping. So don't try to do it in one shot. What you want to do is keep adding layers of graphite on top of one another. And this will actually make it look like hair. There you go. Look at that. It's coming out pretty good. Okay, let's work on the bottom paw here. Uh, he's got his paw curled. You know, his left paw is coming up from underneath him. And then his right paw is right over here. So it's sort of like he's crossed his paws a little bit. We're going to add four toes here, and, and this is his knee, or not his knee, but more of like his, uh, we call that his heel, and then this is his tail. Very loose, very loose sketch, like, looks very good that way. And then we're going to color in some lines here on the back, on his hind side there, and add more details to his toes. So I'm just going to color around the toes, just like I did with the front paws, to make them a little bit darker. And remember those pads underneath his feet, right? So Got the little pads going there too. We're going to finish up these really nice curved lines. The reason why I'm curving these lines is so that it looks more realistic when they're rounded around the, the tiger. All right, so we'll do his toes here too. And color that in gray. Oh, and another toe. Why not? You can put 16 toes on your tiger if you like, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of a background. So this tiger is uh, living somewhere. 
not too much detail, just to see that, you know, he's got a spot somewhere in the savanna maybe, or a little mountainside, just like that. Nothing too complex. And we're going to color underneath him here so he really looks like he's uh, lying down on a surface. So we're going to add a bit of shading all the way around the tiger, just like that. And then, oh, I just noticed that uh, I forgot an eye there. We're going to add some, uh, some of his uh, whiskers here. Tigers have lots of whiskers, and so do lions, I think. So just pull a whole bunch of whiskers out. Now, I know some of you out there will say, yep, their whiskers are white, Paolo. And I'll say, I know, but my eraser doesn't erase thin enough to make thin, thin white lines. Uh, you could use a white pencil if you had one at home. You could do that. Um, I don't have a white pencil. So I'm just going to use my pencil here. And I'm going to erase some of these lines here to, to add some white to my tiger. Remember, our tiger has a, our tiger has a bit of white. So my eraser here will allow me to add a bit of white to this tiger beside every one of the black lines. There we go. A bit here too. A little bit over here. And we're going to erase at the top a little bit here too. Get a little bit more white in there. All right. Wow, that's a nice tiger. So let me finish up his eye here a little bit because I forgot this right eye. We're going to add a bit of shading at the top of that eye. It looks like there's a bit of a shadow at the top. And there you have it, guys. This is it. You guys have achieved making a tiger. I hope you guys have requested the tiger. Love it. I know I do. I think it's a really great drawing, and I'll make it one of my t-shirts. Yes, I am selling my art on t-shirts. If you'd like one, go to my website, drawingwithpalo.com, and pick one up. Guys, there you go. Have a great day. See you next time on another episode of Drawing with Paolo.